Hey guys, how we doing? FM Dell here, and welcome to We're All Wednesday, ain't we? If you haven't already, do hit the like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and do all the beautiful stuff. It really does mean a lot. I'd love to grow this channel. You guys can help me. Also, you can help me today with the big semi-finals of the championship playoffs. We've got Hull, if you haven't seen already, it's right up here. We have Hull, we've got Hull away, and then we've got Hull at Hillsborough a week later. Can we do the unbelievable, the unthinkable, and get ourselves back into the Premier League? This start of the season, we were expected to finish 16th. That's right, 16th is where we were expected to finish. We haven't finished in 16th, guys. If you followed the whole season, you'll know that right down here, we finished third. We missed out. Normally, when you finish third, you say you just missed out on automatic promotion. It wasn't just. It was seven points and, uh, and a few goals away from automatic. But there was a very high, very high level from Watford and Nottingham Forest this season. So we've got a lot to do against Hull. Hull just snuck in on the last day, really. They, they got away with it. They'll definitely know that, but they got us on the last day because Luton passed them down to us. But today, we have the big one, the big game against Hull. Do we even need to talk more about it or should we just get into it? Just get into it, Dale. Why are you even putting that out there? Just get into it. <laughs> All right then. Just remember, you didn't see the last two games. So let's just tell you about those now. Last two games that we played were against Sunderland, which we won at 2-0. Sibley and Aguadelo, of course it was those two. And Sibley again, smashing another one on the final day. We did win with a 90 plus 4 minute goal from Castillo. After going 1-0 down against Plymouth, who I think got relegated. So, you know, we could have played better. We should have played better. Doesn't matter in the long run because we are where we said we were. Playoff semis, we've been on an absolute stonking run. So... Let's see what we can do. So here we are for the game against Hull. And I tell you what, guys, I'm getting more nervous and nervous. I really want to go up this season. And I also, if we do go up, want to be better in the, in the Premier League than we were last time, which didn't go down very well. But let's have a little bit of a look at Hull. Let's see how they've been getting on. As you can see, they lost their last game here against Ipswich. So hopefully we can use that as a little bit of a barometer. And before that, they were struggling to score. So they've been struggling to score for the last three games. They had three wins there, but they've been iffy. Hopefully we get them in this spell. You'll see against us, they lost 2-0 earlier in the season. We had goals from Massimo and Knight. They were the away leg uh, for them. So I think that was home for us. And then we go back. To, I think we must have played near the start of the season. We did. It was on TV and it was nil-nil. So if we could have those two, two results again, it would be fine. But when you go through their season... You can't really see the bit where they got into the playoffs. They were very, very poor all season, iffy, all over the place. So hopefully we could do a little bit better than them. Have a look at their players there. Who are we really worried about? Donlan's got four this season. Not crazy good striker-wise. It's going to be James Scott there. We're looking at 14 goals. He's done very, very well from that position, as Malik Wilkes has as well. Nine goals, eight assists. That's good. But I think the danger man we've got to look at is this James Scott. 25 years old. Not crazy good stats. Played for Hull for quite a while. Very consistent in the goal scoring there as well. So he is the one I think we're probably looking at in this game. He might cause us a few worries. Actually, I, t I say all of that. And then there's this bad boy right here, Zach Emerson. Zach Emerson, who's 21 years old. He has been the goal scorer for them this season. 16 goals in 35 games. 7.24. This is the boy. He's on loan from Brighton, it would seem. And um, he's actually looking very good as a player. If we don't go up, we're going to try and sign Zach Emerson. I'll tell you that right now. The boy's doing absolutely great things down here. 21 years old. So he is one for us to look out for. He, he looks very, very good. Hopefully he'll be on the bench for the game today. Here it is. The first leg is upon us. And we are away. As you know, they're managed by Guti. What a player. Uh, well, we are managed by us. It's 5.30 here on Monday, the 18th of May. And then Connor Hazard starts in goal with Massimo on the right. Aguero is going to be in the centre-back position with Clark Salter. Divine. We're going with Sorensen and Jorgensen in the two midfield spots. Agadello just ahead of them. On the wings, we have Knight on the right. Sibley on the left. Up front, we've gone with Jamie Vardy. 16 goals this season. We could do them we're getting a few more today the bench looks like this Dawson obviously Fishbury who's 
up for player of the season and he's not making the starter. Fernando Augusto, the low knee. Castillo, the goal scorer in the last game. Hendricks, another low knee. And Borogia is also on the bench. For them, they are not starting with Zach Emerson. We did bring up just before he is on the bench. Donnelly, Richards, Levine, Scott, we've said about him. Odeja, um, Hetmedi, Fernandez. Premier League quality there, Greaves, Lascelles, and their defence looks pretty strong. We need to do good today, and hopefully we'll get it on first leg. Here we go. Ooh, it's on TV, so we get to see this. And you can see there, oh, well, Levine, that's an incra a crazy good mohawk there. I'm sure we all agree on that one. We've got good recent form, win-win, draw, win-win. That's what we need to see today. Aguirre, who's not been on great form, I did tell him off recently. Actually, I just told him off before the game about how he's not quite on the form he needs to be. Here we go. Kick off. Not the way we wanted to start. Mehmedi is cleared by Clark Salter as Richards has it down the left-hand side. It's still there. Who crosses it in. Hazard claims. Lovely claim from Hazard. Takes a bit of the pressure off and we work it out from the back. Hopefully this gives Vardy a chance. It doesn't. They're all over the game. But Sibley, who has been brilliant the last few weeks, and I'm really hoping he carries it through over the top to Vardy. 60 goals this season. Can he make it 17? Not at this point. But a good start. A good start from us. Looking strong as Jorgensen's going to throw the ball in. Is anything going to come from it? Doesn't look like it. Lascelles clears it, and Levine is actually on the counter, but we win it back, and that is the highlight done. And that's half time. Not much happened at all in that first half. Um, we've had a bit of the best. They've had possession. It's very cagey. It's exactly how you'd expect a playoff semi-final. But a little bit of an issue is that Devine is not good. His fitness has dropped in half and I'm not quite sure why. It doesn't look like he's taking a long-term knock. So we're going to see if he can run it off a little bit. If not, Hendricks will be coming on at left back. Kick off for the second half. The main issue is that Agdello is looking a little bit nervous. So we're going to have to figure out how to make him feel better. He's not really got into the game today, which isn't great, obviously. And they're back and they're in control. And Fernandez has it on the left hand side as Greaves puts it into Mahepti. Hendricks has come on. By the way, we have brought Hendricks on for um, Divine. It's just he's not fit enough to play. You always worry. But then Hendricks was absolutely useless in his last game. So, oh, no, 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 no. That's not what we need. Sorensen, who I've spoke about a lot this season for just not being good enough. He's just not good enough. He lets himself down way too much. Um, right. Let's figure this out. So what I've done is I've just brought Agadello to play into the centre mid spot. We had to. We had no other options really. And um, just hope that we get away with it. Castillo on. Brozier on. Vardy has come off. And so has Sibley. Both having poor games of two players we really, really hoped wouldn't. As Castillo, though, did score last minute. Last time. Puts it in. It's gone over the top. But Massimo could cover it on the back. Can he cross it in? He can. Nothing comes of it. And it should have been better. Brozier, probably not the man, to be honest. He's not been good enough this season. We're all sure of that. To be honest, there's been a lot of players in our team who today haven't been good enough. If we can come away with a nil-nil, we might actually take that. We will take that. It is nil-nil. The first leg is nil-nil away from home. But when you look at a Knight on a 6.3, a Vardy on a 6.3, a Sibley on a 6.5, we've got a lot to offer with these three saving us today. It's as simple as that. Terrible performance. Is very lucky to get away with that one. Should have scored according to uh, the XG, but oh, guys, we need to do a lot better at Hillsborough, so let's get to that. Sorensen's out for three games. That means he's missing for the next game. He's definitely missing for the final. That means we might have to look at something to do with uh, with the way that we play for the next game and, and maybe, maybe go to a different system. Well, in the other semi-final, Derby take on Luton today. Their first game was 0-0 as well. And uh, this could be who we face, but it could easily be who, who faces Hull. It's going to be such a tight game tomorrow. Let's see what we can do with it. It will be against Luton. Luton are the team who have won that game 3-2 in extra time. Oh, well, Luton. Luton could be in the Premier League. But I'm really hoping it's us. Here it is. The game against Hull, 7.45. I tell you what, guys. I am, I am not... I don't know why, but in here, I'm not quite confident. I don't know why. Oh, oh, so hopefully, that won't feed onto the players. And here we are at Hillsborough. We're ready to go. And another thing that we need to know is, again, their player who's scoring all the goals is not starting. Uh, but Stephen Martin, interesting fact for you all. I, uh, I once met his dad, who is an absolutely lovely fella. And his dad is the linesman when, uh, when Beckham scored from the halfway line. I mean, there is... 
information for days there. You can take that with you. Worked, I met him working uh, with children with, with, with special needs. So, you know, very nice family, very nice people. So I'm not going to have a go at the referee in this one. Here we go. Our team is Connor Hazard in goal. Bree is coming in at right back today. I'm just going for it. Aguer and Clark Salter in the middle. Hendricks is taking over the left back slot. Xavier Simons is coming in to take the position of Sorensen. So that's going to Simons. Let's see if he can really live up to that potential we thought he'd have. Jorgensen is still there. Knight's still there. Sibley, a Goodello. We're going with Seb. Sieb. I don't know why. I don't know what made me think it was maybe his opportunity. He's never quite reached that goal, but this is the day for him. Uh, Parrot on the bench. Brozier on the bench. Castillo, Divine. So basically, we're sorted on the left-hand side. Who have they got? Ingram, Coyle, LaSalle's Greece, Fernandez, Ajdeja, Mehmedi, Wilkes, Levine, Scott and Donnelly. Pretty much the same team that played in the last game for them. They've taken out Richards and I think brought in Wilkes, who is one of their best players. So that is going to be tough, but hopefully we can show how good we are today. Oh, it's nervous here at Hillsborough. It is nervous here at Hillsborough. We haven't lost in quite a long time, which definitely makes you worry about today's game, where they have taken their defeat. But they've drawn a lot of games too. I mean, really, this is screaming it's going into extra time. It's absolutely screaming it. Possibly penalties. But if we can get a few goals early on, kick off, then... You know, it will put us at ease if we could just score early on. Talk about scoring early on. Ronningson, Jorgensen throwing it in. It's gone over. Him, but Aguirre, Agadello, Clark Salter. Not real eyes offside. Oh, corner anyway, but he is offside. I don't think we need to worry about that one. We're back again already. We've seen more highlights in the first seven minutes of this game than we saw really in the whole of the first leg. Both teams going for it. As Scott has it. Donnelly, got to put it wide. Back again, and Hendricks and Sibley. This game is being played at a crazy pace. Hopefully, we can live up to that as Bree gives it into Simons, who's got a big game. Big game for him today as he plays it into Aguirre. Aguirre to Sorensen, back to Clark Salter. Some nice little bits of football here in the centre of the park from Sheffield Wednesday. As Clark Salter plays into Jorgensen now. Over the top to Sieb. It's your moment, Sieb. It's not. It's Of course it's not. It's Sieb. Why are we even... Corner, us, Jorgensen, throwing it in over the top of everybody. But Simons is going to... I was hoping that was going to be a red card to them. You know, one of those little dodgy tackles. But it, they got away with it anyway as Hendricks gives it to Jorgensen. Looking to Agadello to Sieb. It's a chance for Knight. It's a chance. It's a bar. It's the bar. I tell you what, guys. Looking at the stats, I think they've had one shot all game. And it hasn't been on target. Which tells you we're in trouble because we have had all the chances to Sieb. Oh my gosh, Sieb. They're coming forward. And we know what that means, really, don't we? As I say, they've had nothing in the game. Coil back to Scott. Scott's Fernandez. He's got all the time in the world. He gives it to Mahepity. Scott again. Chips it back post. Cox oh, it gets on the end of it. As Sibley now can just calm the game down for us as we move forward. He's gone over. Sieb. I'm already thinking Sieb was a terrible decision. And we thinking Sieb was a terrible decision. As Knight puts it in as a cross. And I don't know what that was. Not really worth a highlight, if I'm honest. Come on, Wednesday. This is... Needs to be better than this. Oh, no. We're carrying on. It's Donnelly and Ajdela. Oh, no. Coil on the right hand side. Are you feeling it too, guys? As Wilkes has it back. Post Scott. 1 0 them. 1 0 them. No way is it. And is it fully me for playing Seb? I just. We've been all over them. We've been all over them. And they just come away like that. They just take the ball. Scott at the back post said we had to look out for him. Oh no. It's 1 0 half time. It's 1 0 half time. And look at those stats. It's just ridiculous, isn't it? Just ridiculous. Second half's underway. And they're on it. If they score again here, I, I think it's over, to be honest. I don't see us coming back. We need to get a goal. As the Sals goes all the way back, handball it, Ingram. Let's help the team. It goes long. It's time. Time on the ball for Clark Salter. Aguirre over to Hendricks. I'm already thinking, how quickly can I take Sieb off without killing his confidence? As Clark Salter puts it, not that he has confidence anyway, the amount that he misses. Jorgensen over to Hendricks and Sibley. Going over the top for Sieb. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But Bree, come on, Bree. Come on, Bree. Over to Knight. Puts it in. It's gone to Sibs. Oh! We have... Um, Try to. We've brought on Brozier, Parrot, hoping really, and nothing's working. It's ticking away. It's just ticking away, and we need to score from this opportunity. I really am, absolutely. I just can't believe this. 
We're better than them. Broja hasn't scored for seven games. Can he change that here? It's wide. It's wide. And they've got one chance left. It's them. He's put it wide. The seconds to go. Boys, we've, we've messed it up. We've messed it up and I don't even know how. I don't even know how. I'm absolutely gutted. I'm absolutely gutted. I don't... There's a lot of players who need to leave now, aren't there? There's a lot of players who need to leave. I just feel... Absolutely, absolutely gutted. I just think, you know, the, the, the strikers have not done enough this season. I think every single one of them can go. I have absolutely... No care in the world for them. No care in the world for Parrot. He's not done enough. Brozier is is uh, he's gone, mate. He's absolutely gone. He's, he's just not good enough. And it's really hard. Uh, we'll see what Vardy wants next season. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Get down in the, the comments. And I'm not giving up though. I'm just letting you know that this, I'm not giving up. Even if I have to do seasons a bit quicker now, whatever I have to do, I'm not giving up because I believe we could do it. It's just, this is hard to take. It's really hard to take because I think Hull were absolutely shocking. I think they were poor. I think they were embarrassingly bad. And we just, it had the feel, didn't it? It had the feel the whole time. We were saying we were having opportunities, but we weren't scoring it. When we come back, um... When we come back, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna try and do the summer, I think. But I don't. Might as well show the the season review. Might as well just make this a longer episode than I wanted to, because why, why not? Um, let's just let's try and end on a positive here with the season review. Let's. Oh, I've jumped it. I've even jumped that. So this shows how it's gone. Um, signing at the season is Massimo. He was only a B. I'm not Ed Guerra. It was an A, a minus. I don't understand why he wasn't the signing of the season, but. Yeah, then we had all the loanies. Should we bring Louis back? These are all things I want you to let me know. Should we bring Louis back or at least attempt to? Godello, we know, isn't going to. Jorgensen, absolutely shocking. Absolutely shocking this season. From Juventus, and you think, yeah, that's going to be great. It's just not worked for us, guys. It's really not worked for us. And you look at the ones who went out. You know, Scott, he's had a great season, 7-2-2. I mean, Owen Dale, he's had a decent season. But, you know, a 7 6 in League, League 2 doesn't really... Doesn't really mean nothing to us. Um, yeah, it's, it's been really tough, this, hasn't it? Very tough. You look at it, we've done really well. We were expected to finish top half. We've done great in the second half of the season. We started so badly. And then look at the greatness of this. Oh, it's really hard. That is so hard to look at. Jamie Vardy was the, the top goal scorer this season. Four goals from him just in this game against Derby alone. The 6-1 the win in the Carabao Cup. We had a 2-0 win in the goal of the season with the Gadello, which was unbelievable. But we just... Oh, financially, we're down because obviously we're Championship now and not Premier League. So that you've got to put that into perspective when we look at this. The sponsorship's fantastic, but we're down 43 because of broadcast. Of course we are. Uh, corporate's down. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. And I can't see us doing incredibly well next season with the money because we, unless we get rid of the players. Like I'm saying, I want to get rid of Brozier. He's the number one selling shirt. Parrot, not done well enough. Still, he's up there with the top shirt sold for Milo Castillo just because of how long he's been here. This is um, it's very tough. How we lined up, you know it. Badly. Too many bad players there. The defence doing a decent job, but overall not good enough from the team and a very disappointing it's, it's look at this 11 goals in 20 30 games so one in three from him not too bad no one else living up to that though was there player of the season clock salto will try and keep he'll probably want to leave parrot a uh, young player signing massimo goal of season agadello top goal scorer jamie vardy he's 39 years old we shouldn't be relying on a 39 year old massimo with the assists uh highest average rating was brie most man of the matches and then Tom Lowry in there. Tom Lowry might stay now. I was talking about how he's going to leave, but maybe not now. Has our 25 clean sheets. What a play. If we can keep him, we're doing incredibly well. Not great discipline from Aguirre. We expect that. And highest transfer, 7.94. If we can get more like that, that would be great. But that's it for us, um, guys. And look, I'll be back at the start of next season. We'll see what we can do um, on Monday. And ah, I'm just abs oh, sorry, guys. I'm actually sorry. Um, I take that on my shoulders, so... Got to pick myself up and pick the boys up, I think, is the, is the important one. Um, put my suit away, which I planned for the playoff final. Well, See you Monday. We're all Wednesday, aren't we? Hopefully Wednesday do better in the playoffs. Tomorrow and Monday. Oh, gosh. Toodle pit.